Mr. Dingwall and I am proud to present my DC motor fan project. It consists of three parts. One, a battery holder which holds four AA batteries. Two, it has a DC motor, the one of the most important parts in this. And three, the origami fan, origami paper. So now I will show you how these work. So the first one is this, the battery holder. It consists of four AA batteries, like I just mentioned earlier. It, they, it has two, two wires. One is negative, one is positive. The red one is positive, the black one is negative. We connect negative to, neg to ground, also known as negative, and we connect positive to positive. Now, that's the first part. Let me show you the second part, the DC motor. The DC motor plays a major role in this. It is the main machine that makes this spin. Let me show you. This is how it spins. The power from the battery goes to the DC motor. So the DC motor has two electromagnets inside it. Both of them keep interchanging so that they can actually spin the motor. Now let's get on to the third section. The paper origami fan. Uh, funny story actually, I didn't find this from YouTube, I just made this fan in art class and then I thought maybe if I just take out that straw out of it, so I connected it to a DC motor and then I made this. In the cardboard I just took a flat piece of paper, of cardboard I mean, and then I just kept turning it into a shape or a square and then it was done. Plus, with the DC motor, you can also use it for gear mechanisms. It's also used in clocks and other mechanisms. So, but that's for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this mechanism and I'll see you soon. Bye!